Hi everyone, John here from TechReview.com. Now, probably quite a lot of you watched Apple's WWDC 14 event yesterday and were quite excited to hear the announcement of iOS 8. And probably like me, you're quite keen to try it out, try some of its new features. But unfortunately, after a day of using it, I'm having to downgrade back to version 7. Now, I know this is beta um, and uh, there are bugs, um, so, but um, after a bit of bit of searching around, there seem to be quite a few people having this problem. So this is a short video on how I've managed to take my iPhone 5S back to version 7. Okay, so here's my 5S. I'll just we'll show you that it's running iOS 8. And you can probably just sort of see there. See, it's running version version 8. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to go and do is download um, the correct version of iOS 7.1.1 for your phone. Um, now I got mine from OSX daily. Now there are lots of places, quick Google, um, and you know you'll find lots of places to download the latest um, iOS uh, version for your phone. Just make sure you get the right one for your phone. Now I'm doing mine on a Mac, but the, you know it should be fairly similar for your for a PC as well. So go ahead, plug your phone into your computer. And then what you're going to want to do is put your phone into recovery mode. Now to do this, you need to press the home button and the sleep wake button at the top. And you need to do these together. Now you hold them both down for about 10 seconds. Then once 10 seconds up, you let go of just the top button, the sleep wake button at the top, but keeping your finger on the home button. And then after about 15 seconds, iTunes will come around and tell you that uh, your phone is in recovery mode. Now this may take a couple of attempts if you've never done this before. So let's go ahead and do this. Now that's about 10 seconds. I'll take my finger off the top button, but keep my finger still on the home button. As you can see there, iTunes, is it's now telling me that iTunes has detected your phone in recovery mode. You must restore this phone before you can use it with iTunes. So you go ahead and click on OK. And then what you want to do is press the Alt key on your keyboard. This is for Mac only and click the restore. Now we can see that obviously it's listed the firmwares that I've got. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and select this one here, which is the current version for my phone. So this is actually 7.1.1. I go ahead and double click that and it's now going to tell me iTunes is going to raise and restore my phone. Okay, as you can see now, my phone is being restored and what I'm going to do is restore Back to my backup that I made just before I updated to iOS 8. That's the phone restored from the backup I made just prior to updating to iOS 8. There we go. My iPhone is now back to iOS 7. Uh, it was quite a simple process. So it's, um, it's, uh, it doesn't take too long. But if you want to try iOS 8, I would certainly recommend or suggest that you back up your iPhone first. Um, and then, you know, go ahead and try it. Um, obviously, you're going to need a developer account and register your device that way um, or know somebody who can who can do that for you. Um, just make sure you've got good backup. Um, so there we go. So a quick look. We'll just, uh, there you go. You can see there's version 7.1.1. Um, I'll put some information in the description below. Um, please go ahead and, uh, you know, sort of, if you've got any questions like that, please post them below. Remember to uh, like the video, that's uh, much appreciated. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.